Mercantilism was an economic theory that was popular in Europe during the 16th to 18th centuries. At its core, it was a system designed to enhance the wealth and power of nation by promoting export and discouraging import. Idea was simple, a country sold export more than it imported in order to accumulate wealth and become powerful. During this period, Europe was undergoing significant change. The discovery of new trade routes and the colonization of new territories led to increased economic competition among European nations. As a result, countries began to implement economic policies that would give them an advantage over their rival. One of the most important components of mercantilism was the belief that a nation wealth was measured by its gold and silver reserve. Therefore, mercantilist policies aim to increase a country exports and thus its gold and silver reserve. This was done by placing tariffs on imports, giving subsidies to exporters, and even engaging in piracy and warfare to acquire colonies and resources. Another important aspect on mercantilism was the belief in a favorable balance of trade. This means that a country sold export more goods than it imported. That it would have a surplus of funds to invest in its economy to achieve this. Countries often set up trading monopolies and restricted imports with limited competition and protected domestic industry. In addition, Mercantilism emphasized the importance of manufacturing and industry. Countries caught to become self-sufficient by producing their own goods and reducing their reliance on foreign import. They did this by providing incentives for domestic production and enacting protectionist policies that hindered foreign competition. One of the most notable examples of mercantilism in action was the British Navigation Act of the 17th century that laws required that all goods shipped to and from British colonies had to be transported British ships and that certain products, such as tobacco and sugar, could only be called to British merchants. This gave Britain a significant advantage in trade as it controlled the shipping route and had a monopoly on certain goods. Despite its success, mercantilism had some drawbacks. One of the main criticisms was that it focused too heavily on accumulating gold and silver rather than developing industry and investing in infrastructure. This made it difficult for countries to modernize and compete with more developed economy. Another criticism was that mercantilist policies often led to conflict and war as countries competed for resources and market. This was seen in the numerous conflicts between European power, such as the Spanish Armada the Seven Years' War. As time went on, mercantilism began to lose popularity as economists and thinkers began to question its effectiveness of Adam Smith and the publication of his book The Wealth of Nations in 1776 marked a turning point in economic thinking. Smith argued that free trade rather than protectionism and mercantilism was the key to economic growth and prosperity. Despite its flaws, mercantilism played a significant role in shaping the economic of Europe. During the 16th to 18th centuries, its focus on export, manufacturing, and industry laid the foundation for the modern capitalist system. Many of economic policies and practice that were developed during this time such as tariffs and subsidies are still used today. Well, mercantilism was a complex and controversial economic theory that had a profound impact on the world. Its legacy can still be seen in the way the nation approached trade and commerce today. However, 
its flaws and limitations serve as cautionary tale for those who would seek to promote protectionism and nationalism in the modern era.